and that they are, this is a precautionary measure. Uh, well, um, yes, uh, when, um, well, you should close the doors and um, not, not ventilate the air uh, because um, if, if um, there is radiation in the air, it will prevent uh, the radioactive substances from coming inside the home. And also when you return from outside, try to um, brush off um, whatever you have on your clothes and also wash your um, um, when you enter your home because um, if, if you were to carry in the radioactive substances, this will spread um, the substances inside. And um, also when it's raining, um, I think um, you could um, buy a very inexpensive coat um, so that um, it is disposable. And please make sure that you try to avoid to your skin as much as possible. Um, this is the type of advice that I'd like to give to these people. Well, um, yes, um, it's... Um, um, inside and also the immediate uh, surrounding area around uh, the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant, plant that they're recording high radioactive level and um, as well um, yes um, if uh, well, this is just a precautionary measure, just in case the situation becomes more serious. Uh, therefore, it is important that people continue to stay tuned uh, to the radio or television and to follow the information. And also at the number four um, reactor um, building, there has been a blast. I've been hearing um, again and again um, new events occurring at this plant, yes. Uh, it started with the number one and then followed by number two and three reactors. And they were all in operation at the point at the uh, time of the earthquake and they were automatically um, shut down. So this was as uh, expected. But then after, uh, there were a series of hydrogen explosions. Well, at the number four reactor, this, it was the same. But um, yes, a fuel, uh, where even if you were to shut down uh, the, op um, the reactor, you have to cool down uh, the hot. But the problem is that there is this failure of this cooling mechanism and as a result of there's heat and generating hydrogen and uh, for example in the first case the ceiling of the building blew off as a result of the blast and also um, part of the um, um, containing uh, facilities uh, were damaged and likewise uh, the building um, was blown off um, and also at number four yesterday at the fourth floor at the spent fuel pool and uh, now we're experiencing another fire. These were uh, all uh, likely to have been occurred, uh, uh, triggered by hydrogen blast. Yes, uh, well, uh, the the fact that we are see, seeing these series of events happening, well, the cause is the same to begin with. And uh, the news um, t in today, um, well, is that the number five reactor, well, it is slightly away um, to this left left of the number one. Well, um, it was not in operation. 